Oh, welcome back, Lord. I see you have finished your job successfully. That's quite the greeting, coming from a guy who can have a face like that, but give me a wish so utterly insane. I am unworthy of such kind praise. I have also fallen for you, because you learned how to grant such a complex wish. F fallen for me? I have prepared your meal, Lord. Please, follow me. Sure. I'm starving. Oopsie daisy. Looks like our little god is gonna get gobbled up by Galshion. That's okay. Sometimes I like to watch. <laughs> a forbidden fruit indeed, tempting you into eternal darkness. Eclipse! Let us away to the VIP room! It's kind of creepy to see you two get along when it's a subject like that. Voyeur angels. What a world. Our inclinations aside, Liliel, did anything happen this time? Direct contact from the Fate Revolution circuit, for instance? Not at all, Miss Lanael. No exchanges worthy of note occurred compared to the previous acceptance. I see. That is disappointing to hear. Perhaps the Awakening will not be complete for some time, then. Aw, oh, poor Lanael. Are you really broken up about this? To ask me that, you must have an ulterior motive. <laughs> oh, you're imagining things, sweetie. <sighs> she, she said she doesn't have any, so that's good enough, isn't it? I mean, God is steadily getting better at his job, right, L Lilio? Oh, yes! There is not a doubt in my mind. Someday, God will certainly be able to defeat them. Pardon my asking, Lord, but have you ever heard the voice of a woman come from inside the Fate Revolution circuit? A woman's voice whispering directly into your mind? Directly into my mind? Hmm... I think I heard something like that, but I'm not quite sure. Sorry, I really couldn't tell you. My memory's a bit hazy when it comes to stuff that happens inside that machine. My brain's probably really confused by all this. I mean, tons of weird stuff has been introduced into my reality after all. Of course it is as you say. It is no small wonder. No, never mind. I apologize for asking such a boring and unimportant question when you are so tired. Do not worry. Um, so why is the room pitch black again? Hello. Can you hear me? How are things over there? Is my voice coming through clear? God is taking steps forward over here. That boy is still pretty wet behind the ears, but... <laughs> How about it? Have you not thought to see him with your own eyes? I can show you if you like. In truth, I have been running my own little experiment. Celestia's barriers are too strong on this side, so I cannot guide you in. But if it's within the machine that we use to train God, I wonder... I'm fairly certain I can open a gateway leading into there. Do not worry about me attempting to double-cross you and lead you into a trap. Such an attempt is useless on my end. After all, your stats are far more overwhelming than mine. <laughs> 
But I would like to have a little insurance on my side of things, by letting that boy grow up a bit more. So, this time, I must ask that you look, but do not touch. I also want you to experience the Fate Revolution circuit. It is not as though I am showing mercy to my enemy. I just wish for it to be fair. I will contact you once I am prepared. I see. I get the gist of her message. What think you? I believe we can accept her terms. No matter how strong God gets, he will be no match for you, Lord Satanael. Although, it would be a lie for me to say I hold no interest in seeing how the Fate Revolution circuit works. I believe it is appropriate to say that if you wish to dine on a lion cub, one must brave the lion's den. Although those angels have nowhere near the might to even be considered lions. <laughs> you speak the truth. Frunetti, do as you see fit. I leave the final decision with you. Give me a report later, whatever you choose. Understood. Actually, Lord Satanael? Hmm. Is there something else? How many books have you read now? This is my 7,934th. Frunetti, the act of discovering oneself may indeed be the best way to kill time. Oh, I see. So that is the end of lesson two. So I think things are going to start getting a little bit more interesting now with the Netherworld getting more involved. But anyways, let's continue on. Yeah, sure, why don't we grab a quick save. Do a new one. I've been doing a new one at the end of... Well, I've only... This is... I've only done two lessons, so I guess I've done... This is my third save. Third different save, anyway. There we go. This is Shakado Private School, one of Japan's largest schools with both middle and high schools located in the same building. How many times have I passed through this school's gate now, I wonder? School's tiring. I thought that before, but it's different now. Trivial chats with classmates, boring, sleep-inducing lectures, and ordinary life it makes me happy. I bet this is the same happiness felt when soldiers or survivors of natural disasters return to their normal lives. It's nice. Well, but in my case, the fleeting moments of an ordinary life are just that. Fleeting. And, like, that zombie was so awesome! Every time a couple started making out, he ripped them up and devoured them whole! Man, it was so adorable! You gotta see it, Renya! Like, it's an order! Dummy, no matter how far and wide we look, you'd be the only middle school girl who'd talk about how adorable a zombie is. And thanks to your terrible influence, I know way more about zombies than ever before. So, thanks for that. Yo, Renya! Morning, dude! Coming to school arm in arm with your sister again, are you? <laughs> Damn, so lucky. I want a little sister too. If you're serious about it, ask your parents to make one. Good morning, Kusanagi. Little Minamo, that's such a distant way to address me. Just say Atsuda. No, 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 try Atsi. Minamo, keep your distance, lest Atsuta's idiocy infect you as well. Uh, anyway, did you hear about the transfer student? That's not a rare thing for a school of our magnitude, you know. Yeah, but on her first day, she got into a scuffle with the motorcycle gang that hangs by the train station, and she beat him down! 
Oh, I heard they were sent to the hospital. Apparently she dropped 20 of them in a single attack. That's pretty suspicious. Is she like a bodybuilder or something? Some kind of reclusive kung fu master? Or perhaps she is an angel of Celestia. No, no, she's pretty much exactly like that. Howdy! I'm the new transfer student everyone's spreading rumors about. Name's Riyazaki. Y you <laughs> I've come to pick you up, Lord. Lord, I assume by this point you have gained quite a few bursted equipment and have gained a good number of holy icons. But, are you sure you are not sitting on far too many unused holy icons? Huh? I wonder. Let me look into that. There is a method where you can increase the tiles available to place holy icons. Huh? So I can make more room and put down even more holy icons? So basically there's a way for me to raise my stats even more? How splendid, Lord! You catch on quick! I will explain, so please, come with me. Okay, so another tutorial for here. Okay, allow me to explain the concept of unlocking new Divinogram tiles. As the concept implies, you can increase the number of tiles where holy icons may be placed. Let us unlock a new tile, shall we? Is this ridiculously easy too? Naturally! First, press the triangle button to open up the menu, then select the Unlock Tiles option. At the top right of the screen, you will see how many tiles you are able to unlock at the moment. All you must do is highlight the currently locked tile that you wish to unlock, and then press the handy dandy cross button. Unlocking complete! That's all there is to it. Huh, simple. It always feels so weird to be able to power up this easily. Mwahaha! <laughs> do not feel weird about it, redirecting that feeling into helping out those who wish for you to guide their fates. Yeah, you're right. So... I can use a new tile however I want? Yes! Use a holy icon and eventually place a holy artifact if you choose. All is God's will. Got it. I'm going to become the master of unlocking for sure, and then I'll power up. The number of tiles you may release increases as, your an as you answer prayers and raise your total level. Battles within the Fate Revolution circuit will be quite easy as long as you increase the number of tiles available to you. For your own safety, Lord, please use our modification program a lot. Unless you enjoy making the lovely Lilial worry. Uh, yeah, I get it. I'll modify myself pretty heavily so you don't have to worry, Lilial. <laughs> um. We don't have any. We have a lot of attack tiles, but that's pretty much all we've got. Um. Two defense tiles, nice. And two speed tiles, which we don't really care much about, to be honest. Yeah, we have hit tiles as well. Tiles aren't terrible, I guess. Okay. That's good. Unlock holy icon... Wait. Oh, let's remove. I want to unlock tiles. We can unlock five tiles. Okay. I don't know what these things are. Oh, it gives me items. Got it. Energy source generated. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Huh. 
Well, I kind of want to get that weapon over there. That's alright. Okay. So we're done with that. Now, we don't have a lot of money, which is unfortunate, because... Well, let's equip what we want on our guy first. Uh, I want something with defense, honestly. I think defense is probably my best bet. But we might as well go with our... Cursed Band, and we'll sell the extras. Do we really want to keep the pistol? I guess. We'll sell the extras, I mean, it's not a big deal. That's got 17 defense on the gunner legs. Huh, I wonder if we should put those on. Because that's only 12. Yeah, we should probably be using the gunner legs on. Yeah, you know what? We're going to give him the gunner legs. I like the gunner legs. They got a lot of defense on them. I feel like if I'm getting hit for less, because the fact that you can regen just by like running around or doing nothing makes it better to have defensive stats on stuff, so... Give you the zombie hat? No. Why is this one better? Oh, because it's... Blue, or it's the curse band is also okay. We'll give you this zombie hat instead. Fire wand is fine. We don't like this. We'll give you the dagger. Okay, so that looks better. Okay, so now we got to sell all the extra stuff. Oops! No! 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 no. We don't want to do that yet. No! 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 We don't ready. We're not ready. I'm sorry. Oh, welcome back, Lord. How was Earth? Eh, it was the same as ever. Forget about that, though. Why do you always do stuff like wait for me outside of school or pretend to be transferring in? Aww, you did not like our approach? I thought it would help fulfill your desires as a student, Lord. You'll fulfill my desires like that? For me, at least. I very much enjoyed the so-called uniform from the world you were born into, Lord. So basically, it's not me. You do those things because you like them. Hey, relax. I mean, I went so far as to imitate a really cool transfer student, and you say you don't like that? No, that's not what I meant. I mean, you don't have to do such intricate things each time. I won't run away. Yeah, I don't think you'd run either. That's why I went ahead and chose the next prayer for you to answer myself. Says the one who went berserk against a gang of delinquents. I bet it's a violent prayer wishing for blood to wash away blood, right? Berserk? Violent? Me? Compared to other angels, I'll have you know that I was tenderly raised in a germ-free environment. I'd love to meet a tenderly raised girl from a germ-free environment who could beat up 20 motorcycle gang members. No, I'm serious. I, I hate to admit this, but of all the angels here in Celestia, my powers are ranked the lowest. I'm like the kid in class who can't be left behind. In that sense, maybe I am the right type to fight delinquents. Hey, come on. I didn't mean it like that. Yeah, I know. It ain't your fault, Lord. I just wanted you to know what's what. Celestia is full of quirky guys, sure, but some angels, like myself and Liliel, really do rely on you, Lord. Royale. <laughs> Saying that sort of stuff doesn't really suit me, does it? Moving on, 
I'll be waiting for you to come back, and I'll have the best home-cooked meal you've ever had waiting for you, too. I had heard that Miss Coroia was moved to this area of Celestia only a little bit before my own arrival. And although I may just be a novice, I shall do my very best to fulfill my own duties. Well, in her case, I think she's just a big busybody at heart. I mean that in a good way, of course. <laughs> I think you are right. Now then, it is time to get to work. Are you prepared, Lord? No, I'm sorry. No, I gotta pee. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> uh, oh my! Lord, please hurry up and use the Divine Outhouse! Wow, that's actually voice. That's great. Sorry, but, um, where is this so-called Divine Outhouse located? <laughs> that was good, that was good. No, what we needed to do is, um, get our items in check, because they are not. Uh, we wanted to talk to this guy, and we had to accidentally talk to the wrong one. Alright, so let's sell... I think we can sell pretty much all the stuff. We don't need it. I don't really like the poison orbs. Or the sleep orbs. Mm -hmm. I don't really like the boom gems either. They're not that great. We'll keep one paralyzed orb and one of those. And the sleep gem, why is that worth so much? Huh. Eh, whatever, we don't need to do that. Okay, let's, uh... Organize. Organize, okay. And then in our items, we're going to send the sleep gem to storage. Perfect. And then we're going to just upgrade our stuff so that it's not bursted anymore. They're kind of expensive though. Yeep. I won't be able to do it now on everybody. Because I wanted to do her stuff as well. Unless I sell one of those gems. Alright, I gotta sell one of the gems. We'll sell, I guess, the... Sell the paralyzed gem. Okay. Cause I want her to get stronger too. There we go. Looks good. Looks good. Bear how good? Very good. Alright. So I guess we'll take a break there and next time we'll continue on and see what Coriel's wish was. And uh I'm sure it'll be just as entertaining as the last two. And I'm thoroughly enjoying this game, I must say. The story's quirky enough that I like it quite a bit, and it plays it's pretty fun to play, and that last boss fight was pretty challenging as well. So anyways, thanks for watching, and until next time.